Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus, child of God. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord honor you. I trust you are all enjoying your weekend. Please, if you are online, I want you to please share and lift up your voice as we begin to appreciate this God who has proven himself to be faithful in all dimensions. Beloved, that we are still here today is because the Lord kept us. Please share and lift up your voice with me as we go ahead and worship our Father. As we go ahead and give him the praise. As we give him the worship that is due unto him. Open your mouth wherever you are under the sound of my voice right now. And begin to appreciate your Father. Say, Lord, I have come again for an encounter in your presence. I have come again, Lord, for a change of story. I have come again, Lord, to thank you for all that you have done for me. I have come again, Lord, to worship you for all you have done for my family. From the first day of this month of April to this present time. Lord, if it has not been you has been on our side. Our enemies would have destroyed us. But glory be to your name that you kept us still now. Lift up your voice, beloved, and begin to worship your Father. I appreciate your Father for the gift of life. I appreciate your Father for his love. I appreciate your Father for your husband, for your children, for that business you are doing, for that your work. I appreciate him for how he's kept you from the day one of this month till this present time. Some of you under the sound of my voice right now, you have lived on the face of the earth for 30 years. Some of you have lived for 40, some have lived for 50. Beloved, many that we are giving birth to the same day you are giving birth to her. most of them right now are dead they are not in the face of the earth again but the lord almighty kept you the lord almighty kept me open your mouth and say father i am super grateful for your grace that has worked for me till this present time for your love that has not actually had any bound when it comes to you releasing the breath of life to my nostrils lord i appreciate you el shaddai i appreciate you adonai i appreciate you lily of the valley i appreciate you be thou exalted thank you father because i know that thou god who has brought me and my family to this present day, your God is going to cross us over into the months of May for a change of story, for a turn around. Lord, we are come to render our thanksgiving to you today. Receive you, Lord, all the glory, all the honor, all adoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Man. Beloved, it is settled. The Lord has received our thanksgiving and he will do more for you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Once again, beloved, I want to specially welcome every one of you to today's praying mom's hour. For those of you that are daddies and brothers and sisters in the house, I say welcome to every one of you. God bless you really good for joining us in today's meeting. My prayer for everybody under the sound of my voice is that the Lord Almighty will give you an encounter. I pray that the Lord Almighty will give you an encounter today. And I decree this encounter, may he bring about a total turn around in every matter that pertains to you. I say may today's encounter bring about a total change of story in all matters that pertains to you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I do not know what you are going through. I don't know why you are online at a time like this. But child of God, get ready in the months of May. The 
the Lord said, I should declare to every one of you, you shall be congratulated. You shall be congratulated. You shall be congratulated. I don't know what they have been expecting God's manifestation upon, but beloved, get ready in the month of May. You shall be congratulated. You shall be congratulated. You know, the Bible was speaking. In the book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 20, he told us about the encounter that Zechariah had with the angel of God in the place of sacrifice, in the holy of holies. Beloved, in case you don't know, when I read the account about this man called Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth, the Bible said they were without blame. They have served the Lord all their lives. They have done all that God said they should do, but there is something still missing in their lives. And that thing that is missing in their lives is the fruit of the womb. This man, this man and his wife served the Lord faithfully, but they don't have even a child to call their own. All their lives they have been serving. I believe people would have started mocking them and saying, I thought you are a representative of God here on earth. Why is it that even your own prayers has not been answered? I believe as a man of God, people would have told him and said, I thought you are the one taking our petitions to the Holy of Holies. Does it mean that you have not actually encountered God for God to even change your story. The Bible said on that faithful day, the word for the change of Zechariah came. The angel of the Lord gave him a charge and told him categorically that his season in barrenness, his season in childlessness, his season in mockery is over. And the Bible said, as soon as his word came, hey, even the man that God was speaking to began to doubt the word of God. Zechariah never believed it. Zechariah has zeroed his mind over the issue of conception. All of a sudden, his word came. I do not know what you have been praying about for years, and it seems as if it's not coming forth. And right now, you have even zeroed your mind on it. You have even decided never to pray about it again. You have even gotten to the extent of saying, God, if you like, do it. If you like, don't do it. I won't pray on this again. I am tired of praying about it. Here I'm a child of God. God is saying to you today, that thing you have prayed about and you have even given up upon. Get ready in the month of May. You shall be congratulated about it. You will receive your congratulations over that matter. You will receive your congratulations over that case. You will receive your own congratulations over that childbearing. In the case of Zechariah and Mama Elizabeth, their case was the case of conception. They waited for life. They waited for this child, this child for life. I believe they would have offered all manner of sacrifices in the temple. They would have done all manner of prayers and fasting. They may have even consulted high priests, great men and women of God, but nothing showed up for them. But on that faithful day, the Lord sent their way his angel. And funny enough, at that moment, Zechariah himself, he never believed it. Because he has done everything humanly possible. But the Bible said, the Lord Almighty has to shut his mouth. He has to close his mouth. So that he will not use his mouth to abort his miracle. So that he will not use his own belief to abort his miracle. I don't know what you are asking God for below. And right now, your belief system is on the zero level. Get ready below. 
the Lord Almighty will give you your congratulatory message over that prayer request in the month of May. I don't know whom God is speaking to, but if this word is for you, I want you to believe it and type amen and say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. In the month of May, I shall be congratulated. In the month of May, I shall receive my congratulations. Can you please open your mouth and legislate that word? Say, Father, I receive this word. It is my word. It is my word. In the month of May, consigning this child birth, consigning this miracle job, consigning my healing, consigning my deliverance, consigning my self delivery. Somebody you are heavily pregnant and the delivery day, the EDD has even passed. Open your mouth and say, Father, as I step into the month of May, I am bringing forth my children. I am bringing forth my children. I am conceiving my babies. I am receiving that contract approval. I don't know what you have been praying about. In the case of Zechariah, he doubted it, but the Lord brought it to pass. Some of you right now, you don't even believe again that there is still hope for you. Open your mouth and say, Father, I believe this one today. I receive this testimony in the months of May. It must surely come to pass in my life. It must come to pass upon my husband's life. It must come to pass upon my children's life. It must come to pass upon my career. This my promotion has overstayed. This my conception has overstayed. Lord, as this month of April is ended, I decree the end of my waiting. I decree the end of my waiting for this testimony, for this breakthrough. As your word has come forth, it is bringing about the activation of my testimony. I am receiving my congratulations in the month of man. No gates of hell will prevail. No power of darkness will stop me again. I hope somebody is legislating. Open your mouth. Be specific. Tell the Lord that thing that must turn to testimony. Tell the Lord about that thing that you must receive congratulations over. Lord, consigning this child better. Lord, consigning this court case. Lord, consigning this my business. Lord, consigning this my house that has refused to finish. Ah, this is our building project. We are packing into the house. I don't know who has that word. The Lord said you have built the house for years. For years, for years, for years. It looks as if the house is stagnated. Open your mother speak to your father and say, Lord, I am packing into this house. In this month of May, I shall receive my congratulations. I shall receive my congratulations. I shall receive my congratulations. Any power delaying it, any power obstructing it, any power standing on the way, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you end with the month of April. I command you be destroyed with the month of April. I command you expire with the month of April. In the month of May, I am receiving my congratulations. I am receiving my congratulations. I am receiving my congratulations. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, I pray for you. I do not know what you have been praying for. I do not know what your expectations has been. Some of you right now, you have expected for this miracle. You have expected for this testimony. For more than two years. More, for more than ten years. For even close to twenty years. You have a child of God as I hear the Lord. In the months of May, you shall be congratulated. I say over that matter, you are receiving your congratulations. Over that situation, over that your, your doctor's report, you are receiving congratulations. Madam, you are healed. You, are, you don't have complications again, says the Lord. In the month of May, go and check again. The Lord is saying, starting 
from this new week, go and check again. The Lord has healed you. The Lord has healed you. Somebody you are going through a very I don't know who that person is. If you are the one, comment and say, I am the one. You are having ovaries. The Lord said, you are already healed. Go and check yourself and return with your chapter one of your congratulations. Hey, for the months of men, for the months of men, for the months of men, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. No power of darkness will stop your congratulations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, when the word of Mama Sarah came, the Bible says she laughed <laughs> and said, It's like this, and these people that came to our house today, it's like they are foolish. <laughs> Maybe they don't understand medical terms. Maybe they don't understand that when a woman gets to 40 years, she will enter menopause between 40 to 50 at least. If the person receives mercy, the person will at least stay up to 50. These people don't understand that I'm already 90 years. How can they say that by this time next year, according to the hour, according to the timing of men that I'm going to be with my child? It's like they don't understand. Kabada. Some of you are saying, Mama, you don't understand who is in charge of my matter. Mama, you don't know how many places I have gone to. Mama, you don't know what I have actually done so far. To get this breakthrough, and you are telling me that in the month of May, I shall be congratulated. <laughs> Beloved, hear me. The word of God, no man can oppose it. The word of God is here and amen. Has he said it? Will he not bring it to pass? When God was speaking to me concerning the month of May, he said, Tell my children, I'm releasing congratulations. I am releasing congratulations, especially to our waiting mothers. Especially to our waiting mothers. Especially to our waiting parents. Especially to those ones are waiting for the fruit of the womb. He said, I am going to start from there. I am going to start from there now. I am not interested in how many years your matter has lingered. But I'm here to announce to you, beloved, your matter is not as old as God. It's not as old as God. It has not lingered. As old as the Jehovah, the maker of the universe, and the fullness thereof. And because it's not as old as God, as you echo amen and type amen in the comment section, in the months of May, the beginning and the end, he is going to bring an end to your waiting, and is going to deliver into your hands your congratulations. Men and women will gather to celebrate your testimony with you. I say you will receive your call of joy. You will receive your cause of joy. You will receive your cause of congratulations. Hey, you that is waiting for them to call you in that office that you went for a job interview. Get ready. This man is your employment month, says the spirit of the living God. Get ready. This month of May is your month of employment. It will come to you. Ah, like a shock, like a shock. I don't know what's that word. The Lord said, get ready in the month of May. You are receiving that employment letter. And your testimony will also be shared here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved. I want you to share, share. Let's get across to every other person that needs to be here. That is not here right now. Sarah's waiting got to understand that the Bible told us that Abraham, the father, the husband, saw that her, she is already stricken in age. The husband began to see her womb as a dead womb. <laughs> Do you know what it is? For the man of God that has been offering sacrifice over these children, for the man that received the word of promise from God to start seeing the wise womb as a dead womb. Do you know what he means? It means the man has lost hope. In fact, Sarah went to an extent of looking for alternatives. She said, maybe the promise is not going to come from me. 
Maybe God wants me to do something on my own part. To bring about this our miracle babies. So that the word of God will be fulfilled. Sarah went further to help God in fulfilling his prophecy. <laughs> like some of you are doing right now. You receive the word concerning your case. And you are actually taking steps to help God. Lord, my husband has waited so much. I think it is time I help him get a new wife. I think it's time I help myself. I agree to this time of this man to sleep with him so that he can give me this job. No, no. If the Lord has said it, he will do it. Hallelujah. If the Lord has said it, you don't need to help God to bring it to pass. Only take your place. Stand you therefore. And you will see the manifestation of the miracles. You will see the Lord Almighty pass the Red Sea. You will see the Lord Almighty take out of the way anybody, any entity, any agent of darkness uh, sitting upon your testimony, uh, sitting upon your miracle job, uh, sitting upon your breakthrough, uh, sitting upon your marital settlement, uh, sitting upon that thing that rightly belongs to you. Uh, if the Lord has said it, uh, no evil enchantment or incantation of any woman uh, can be able to stop it. If they like, let them go and gather house in the bush in order to carry out the wicked works. He am the child of God. Unless Jesus was not made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. But if Jesus was made manifest to destroy the works of the enemy, he am the beloved. The evil works will no more stand as to step into the months of men. No power of darkness will stop your congratulations. No agent of darkness will stop it. No human personality will stop it. If I hear you echo amen and type amen, that settles it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible said, let us therefore come boldly. This is what God wants you to do. Keep reminding God. Keep reminding God, Lord, I still remember your promise. You said your word has, that has gone out of your mouth. It will never return back void. Except it brings forth. Except it accomplishes the purpose, the mission of which it was sent. This is what God wants you to keep on doing. I do not know how many prophecies you have received. I don't know. If they told you when it's going to happen. But hear me, child of God. God is specific this time around. He said, I should declare to you. I pity those that are not online. He said, as many of them that will join this meeting today. Please share. Keep sharing. The Lord bless every hand that shares. The Lord bless every hand that shares and like and love this video. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord accomplish this word upon your life. Please share. He said to me, daughter, as many of them that will join your life online today, that will be a performance. That will be a performance. That will be a performance. Everything that has long overdue in their lives, that will be a release. Everything that is long overdue in their lives, that will be a release. The promotion will be released. The miracle babies will be released. That man under the sound of my voice that is going through low spam count. I don't know if this is the man of the wife that is represented. Get ready. I see the hand of God touching your manhood right now. Aliga, it will look like it will look funny to you. I see the hand of God, the power of God resting upon it right now. And I see a divine quickening, divine quickening, divine quickening, divine quickening, divine quickening upon your reproductive organ right now. And the Lord said, get ready, go and do and give your wife the children. Go and do and give your wife the children. A legal father, I don't know who has that word. Go and do and give your wife those children. 
She is ready to carry them. Go and do a legal bada bada. The Bible said, Mama Sarah wanted to help God. She went and brought in Hagar. And Hagar came and Hagar did everything. But glory be to God, the God that doesn't fail, the God that says and does, the faithful God indeed. Yeah, I'm a child of God, as the Lord has given us this word, that the month of May is our month of congratulations. Yeah, I'm a beloved, as you echo amen and share, you will not be passed by. I say the Lord will not pass you by. The Lord will not pass your family by. Can you please legislate and say, Father, I accept this word, this prophetic word for the month of May. And I ask, Lord, do not pass me by in the month of May. Do not pass me by in the month of May. Do not pass me by in the month of May. Do not pass my husband by. Do not pass my children by. I must testify. I must testify. I must testify. Testify, I must testify that God that daily loves us with benefit. May none of my benefit for the month of May ever pass me by. May none of my benefit, may none of my congratulations, may none of my testimonies ever pass me by in this month of May. As I step into it, I shall be congratulated. The angels of congratulations do not pass. Pass me by. Do not pass my children by. Do not pass my husband by. Do not pass my household by. Do not pass my business by. Do not pass my career by. I must testify. I must testify. I must testify. I must be employed. I must receive my business capital. I must open that new business. I must receive that new employment letter. I must make that travel. I must receive that visa approval. I don't know what you want to receive. Open your mouth and say, Father, I must testify about it. As I go for this professional exam, I am receiving my congratulations. I will not fail. I will come out with distinction. I must testify. I must testify. I must testify. I must testify. Testify. I hope you are praying. Speak to your father. Speak to your father. Speak to your father. It's my month of congratulations. I am receiving my congratulations on a daily basis. Hear me, you, the month of May. Hear me, you, the weeks in the month of May. Hear me, you, the hours in the month of May. Hear me, you, the seconds in the month of May. Hear me, you, the day and the night in the month of May. You are not allowed to withhold my Congratulations, every of my God ordained blessings, every of my God ordained miracles, every of my God ordained testimonies, vomit them unto me, vomit them unto me, that of my husband, that of my children, release them unto us, we must be congratulated, we must testify, we must testify, we must testify, we must testify, it is written in Numbers chapter 14 verses 28 that it is what God hear us say that he will do for us open your mouth and declare it I must testify I must testify I must testify of my new house of my new car of my conception of my miracle baby of my job employment I must testify the gates of hell shall no prevail, no enchantment, we stop it, no wicked works of the wicked, we stop it, no evil sacrifice, we stop it, I must testify, I must testify, I must testify, I must testify, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Beloved, I pray for you. As you have declared that word in faith, 
I prophetically legislate that word and I decree that in the months of May, everything you have declared that you must testify over, I say carry the testimony. I say carry the testimony. I say carry the testimony. I say receive the testimony. I say receive the miracle. I say receive that miracle. Receive your congratulations. Receive that congratulations of your conception of your new house of your new car of your employment letter receive it in the month of May in the name of Jesus Christ Amen I don't know how many of you that have tried to help God but I pray for you today may the mercy of God look at you may the mercy of God look at you. May the Lord forgive you for trying to take his place over your matter. Somebody needs that prayer. That is why I'm praying it. May the Lord forgive you for trying to be a God over your case and trying to look for alternative ways out. May the Lord show you mercy and may your testimony your congratulatory message be delivered unto you in this month of May in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Beloved you are going to pray we are going to pray and engage the angels of miracles angels in charge of miracles for the month of May in case you don't know our God is the beginning and the end he is in the end before the beginning as we are right here right now God's timing is different from our timing the month of May that you and I are about to step into God is already in there he has deployed the angels that needs to work for his children in the month of May all we need to do is to ask those angels to step into matters that consign us. All we need to do is to tell the Holy Spirit to step into our matters. So in trying to do so, this is what we are going to pray. You are going to decree and say, you the month of May, break open unto me for miracle. You the month of May, the miracle channels of the month of May, the financial doors of the month of May, the career doors of the month of May. Ah, the conception doors of the month of May. I know there is an angel in charge of you. Therefore, this hour, I open up the channels of my family. I open up the channels of my business. I open up the channels of my life. I open up the channels of my womb. You are the angels in charge of conception for the month of May. You are the angels in charge of financial breakthrough of the month of May. You are the angels in charge of a turnaround testimony in the month of May. You have my permission. Assess me. You have my permission. Assess my marriage. You have my permission. Assess my children's life. You have my permission. Assess my husband's life. Open your mouth and begin to speak right now. Open up the channels of your heart. Open up the channels of your marriage. Open up the channels of your career. Open up the channels of your increase. And command the angels in charge of breakthrough. In charge of testimonies. In charge of miracle babies. For the months of May. Tell them to enter into your life. And carry out their assignment in your home. And carry out their assignment in your career. And carry out their assignment. In your, in your in your business, if there is anyone that will be that will break through in the month of May, Father, I am available. My ministry is available. The angels of miracle babies, the angels of financial breakthrough, the angels of blessings unlimited, are in charge of the month of May 2022. My life is available. My husband' life is available. This ministry is available. The members of this ministry are available. You have our permission today. Enter into our 
our lives and give us breakthrough and give us testimonies and give us turn around and give us a shift in our career. Open your mouth and speak right now. Command the angels in charge of that testimony you want. Hey, that God has the plan for the month of May. Say, my life is open for your ministry. My life is open for your manifestation. Holy Spirit, my life is open. Holy Spirit, when most pray international is open. Enter in and rush miracles. Enter in and bring testimonies forth. Enter in and manifest your wonders. The Lord has said is a bond of congratulations. You the angel of congratulations. Oh yeah, we are open to receive your ministry. Enter into our homes. Enter into our businesses. Enter into our careers and manifest your wonders. Manifest your wonders. Deliver our result. Deliver our testimonies. Deliver our breakthroughs. Deliver our turnaround. Deliver our turnaround. The Bible said there are ministry spirits meant to minister to us the heads of salvation. Father, we open our doors for the angels to assess the angels in charge of vengeance for the months of man. We welcome you into our battlefield. We open up our battlefield. We ask that you will go and take over the battles that the enemies have set before us in the months of April and kill every killable. Destroy every destroyable. The angels in charge of healing. We welcome you to the healing department of our lives, enter our homes, we cancel sickness, enter our homes, we healing in your wings, and bring forth total divine health upon us and our loved ones in the month of May. The angel of good news, our lives are open for good news, our lives are open for good news, our homes are open open for good news. Our ministry is open for good news. Enter and manifest good news. Enter and manifest good news. Enter and manifest good news. I hope somebody is praying. The Bible said that our ministry spirit meant to minister to us. If you don't command these angels on what to do for you, they will be there looking at you. They only act on your instructions. Open your mouth and give them Child, and what you want them to do for you in this month of congratulations? Open your mouth and fire prayers. And just of the living God, we welcome you. We welcome you into this 21 days prayer and fasting. The angels of miracle babies. Hey, the angels in charge of the department of twins. The department of triplets. The department of boys. The department of girls. The department of quadruplets. Come and do your miracle. Let that be released of miracles. We open the doors of this program unto you. We open the doors. Holy Spirit, we open the doors of the month of May, Jesus. We open the doors of the month of May, Holy Spirit. We open the doors of our homes, the doors of our marriages, the doors of our career. Step in divinity. Step in Holy Spirit. Step in Jesus. Step in the angels of God and do your wonders. Do your work in our lives and let our congratulations show forth in a hurry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, I pray for you. I pray for your family. I pray for this ministry. As a prophetic head, as an overseer, place over this ministry. I prophesy upon you and your family. You shall never lack angelic help this month of May. I say you will never lack angelic help. This hour I open up the channels of every home, of every member of this ministry. And I ask that the King of 
glory may go in. Let the King of glory step in. Let Jesus step in. Let the Holy Spirit step in. Let the ministry angels of God in charge of that your testimony, in charge of that your turnaround, in charge of that your testimony, that angel of God on a sign. So bring forth vengeance upon your enemies. I command them to step into your matter this month. Let them step into your matter this month of May. And every enemy of your life, let them destroy it. Let them destroy it. Somebody here, you are sick in your body. And release the heavenly physicians, the angelic physicians of God. Let them step into your home this month. Somebody here, your family, in your family, every week, somebody must fall sick. And release the angels of healing, the medical angels of God. Let them step into your home this month. And let every stream of sickness, every demonic flood of sickness, dry up in your home. Let it all dry up in your home. Let it dry up in your home. That demonic flood the enemy has released upon your home that is causing sickness. As this angel step in, let the earth open his mouth and swallow it up. And let the angels take over and release unto you and your family divine health, divine health, divine health, divine health, divine health. In the name of Jesus Christ, the angel in charge of breakthrough for the month of May, we are available. These walls are available. They have op opened the doors of the families for you to enter. Ah, the angel of divine security. We ask that you will take your place. Somebody here. The Bible said, Aliko Shadada. The Bible said in the book of Job, chapter 1, from verses 10, it said this was exactly the testimony of Satan himself. He said to God, Is it not because your place and hedge run about Job and his family and everything that he has on every side? That is why I have not been able to assess him. And the devil said to God, He said, Take away the hedge. Take away the hedge. The Lord says, somebody here, the hedge over your house, the hedge over your home is no more there. That is why you have been experiencing so much losses, so much attack, so much problems. But hear me, child of God. I call upon the same God that place on hedge round about Job and his family. May this God Almighty arise for every one of you under the sound of my voice right now and let him place an hedge of covering, an hedge of protection, an hedge of defense run about you and your family that no evil no weapons of your enemies from the fashion against you and your family in the months of man that will ever ever prosper in the name of Jesus Christ one of the things you begin to experience as you step into the months of man is this that attack you used to have in your dream it will automatically cease you begin to sleep Sleep like a baby and wake up calmly with no more stories of I had a terrible dream. This is a prophetic word for somebody right now. You have been experiencing terrible nightmare, but God said He has placed an hedge round about you. Even in your dream world, this head will protect you. I said this head will protect your family. It will protect that your child that is always jumping up at midnight and crying. It will protect your husband. It will protect you from that spirit wife and spirit husband that is tormenting you day and night. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more shall the enemies be able to assess you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Beloved, we are still praying. Somebody here, before I came online, the Lord gave me two cases. He said, daughter, these two cases, you must pray about it. The first case, the Lord said there is somebody in this family. The enemies are echoing, close up, close up, close up. Anything you start, that evil voice of the enemies will begin to release, close up, 
Close up. Close up. In fact, you even start hearing it in your ears. And you begin to feel that what you are doing is not working. And before you know it, you close up the work that you are doing. I don't know who is echoing that word in the realm of the spirit. I don't know the voice that is speaking close up to everything that you do that brings money. <laughs> I don't know who is according close up to everything you lay your hands upon doing. But we are going to pray and say, Father, enough is enough. Every voice anywhere, every voice in the sea, every voice in the land, every voice of my father's house, Every voice of my paternal maternal home, from my marriage home, that is echoing close up to any relationship I enter into, to any business I lay my hands upon doing, to any job I start doing, any voice anywhere echoing close up to the works of my husband, ah, to the works of my children. You are a liar. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I silence you. I silence you. I silence you. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. Father, that evil voice, that evil voice that have risen against us in any realm of existence, and this voice is echoing close up. Lord, this day, I decree no more. Let that voice receive the judgment of God. Let that voice receive the judgment of God. Let that voice receive the judgment of God. Nothing will close up my womb. Nothing will close up my business. Nothing will close up my career. Nothing will close up my contract. Nothing will close up anything again I do in the month of May. Every voice anywhere, according close up to anything I lay my hands upon doing. Be silenced now by fire. 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 I hope somebody is praying. Open your mouth and pray. Any future voice, any past voice, any demonic enchantment, any demonic evil sacrifice, any evil ritual, any evil they have done anywhere that is according close up to the blessings of God in my life, that is according close up to the entrance of goodness in my life, that is according close up of my ministry, of my business, of my career, of my profession. What are you waiting for? I rise this day, standing upon Psalm 7, verse 6, and I come now receive fire. Let the Lord rain upon you. Terrible, horrible tempest. Let the Lord rain upon you. Bring stone. Let the Lord rain upon you. Cause of fire. Any voice anywhere. Any voice anywhere. According close up to the works of my hands. According close up to my marriage. That want me to pack out. That want me to pack up. That want me to pack up. On further business. That want me to tend the resignation letter with no reason you are a liar I silence you I silence you I silence you I silence you somebody pray silence that voice that is saying close up to the walls of your hands that has closed the doors of your miracles that has closed the doors of your testimony that has closed the doors of your breakthrough that has closed your womb say father as I step into the month of May, let everything at all that this voice has closed up reopen, 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 Efata, reopen, Efata, reopen, Efata, my womb open back, my career open back, my business open back, my finances open back. I don't know what they have closed up already. Open your mouth and say, Father, let it reopen. Let it reopen. Right now as I pray, every good thing that God has given to me, that these voices has closed up. Every good thing that the Lord has given to my husband, that the Lord has given to my children, that the Lord has given to my ministry, that this voice has closed up. I command you, Jesus Christ.
Christ. Amen. Beloved, I pray for you. I don't know the voice that is echoing close up to everything at all you begin to do, to every relationship you enter into. I don't know what has closed up your career. I don't know what has closed up your womb. I don't know what has closed up your financial streams, your breakthrough doors, your doors of ministry, your doors of career. But as your amen will thunder right now, I command everything that your enemies has closed up. I command it to all Open right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that thing the enemies has close up. Let it reopen now. Let it reopen back right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil hand anywhere, every evil man anywhere, every evil woman anywhere, directly or indirectly, ah, or closing up things in your life. I so amen with. I ask that the Lord Almighty, the God to whom vengeance belongs to, may he arise for you and locate that enemy with judgment of death. Let that enemy be judged now. Let that enemy be judged now. Let that enemy be judged now. That evil Lord of theirs, that evil desires of theirs, that evil that activated in your life, using enchantment, using incantation, Using divination, using any kind of ritual means of any sort, I command that evil right now to return back to sender. Let the wickedness be activated upon their lives, upon their own business, upon their own career, upon their own works, and never to return back to you and your husband again. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. It is settled. Leka bada bada. Beloved, if you have not shared, please share, please share. Share. The Lord bless every hand that shares. The Lord bless every hand that shares. The Lord bless every home that shares. The Lord bless you without your testimony in the months of May and cause you to receive your congratulations as you share right now. Share to as many of your friends as you can. Share to many groups as you can. Share and share and share and share before we go into the next prayer. Let while I was in the ministry site, yesterday as I was preparing for this message, the Lord said, daughter, I have this prayer point in my hearing. He said, Tell me, there is somebody that needs to say, I refuse to be called mommy. I refuse to be called mommy in debt. I refuse to be called mommy in debt. This prayer point is for somebody that is currently pregnant and that is about to conceive. The Lord said your enemy is waiting for you on the day of delivery to execute that chapter 2 of their evil. They said, oh, it's not by conceiving alone. It's not by conceiving alone. Come and breastfeed the child. Let's see. Ah, beloved, when I will be saying start praying, your prayer should be, I refuse to be called mommy in the grave. I refuse my children to grow up and to be shown my graveyard. I refuse to be called mother in the grave. I refuse my children from celebrating me in the grave. Ah, I, I will live ah, to eat the fruits of my labor over my children. I will live. Can we please legislate that word? I will live. I will give birth to my miracle babies. I will train my children. They will grow up to celebrate me when I'm alive. I refuse them from celebrating me in the grave. I refuse to eat my children's money in the grave. I refuse my children from building house and putting my name on it and I cannot be able to to live in it. No, Lord. No, Lord. No, Lord. I refuse to be called mother in the grave. I refuse to be called mother in the grave. I refuse to be celebrated by my children in the grave. I refuse my children from growing up. And somebody will now take them and say, this is where they buried your mother. No, Lord. I refuse it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will take care of my children by my own hand. I will take care of them by my own hand. I will be there on that wedding day. I will be there on the day of celebration.
celebration. I will be there on the day of honor. They will rise up to honor me in my old age. They will rise up to take care of me in my old age. I will enjoy the wealth of my children. No power of darkness will stop it. I will not labor for another to represent me. On the day of my children's, to my grandchildren's naming ceremony, nobody will represent me. On the day of my children's wedding, on the day of the honor, on the day of the graduation, I will be there live to celebrate with them with longevity, with long life the Lord has satisfied me. I will live long to testify on the day of my children's ceremony. In the name of Jesus Christ, nothing will cut short my children's life. They will live old. They will live long. And this my prayer today will be answered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, for you that pray that prayer, as you have declared it, may the Lord cause it to come to pass. I say, as you have declared it, may the Lord cause it to come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Another category of person that the Lord says that we should pray, that should pray this kind of prayer, are those that lack help now. You are moving about looking for who will help you. Who will help your life? You are looking for who will help you to start that business. Nobody is rising up to help you. Ah, beloved, say, Lord, these people that have refused to give me this money to start, Lord, I refuse to die on time. I refuse to die on time. They will not bring this money on the day of my burial. They will not bring this money on the day of my burial. Right now, I command the heart of compassion to open unto me. Anybody at all in the position of my business capital, in the position of the recommendation I need, in the position of that uh, contract I need, I command you in the name of Jesus, uh, lose your peace and give it to me now. Lose your peace and give it to me now. I will know my children will not just stand with sackcloth to receive the money you would have brought. Uh, to take care of my health, to help me to actually have a good life. No, I refuse you from bringing that money on the day of condolence. Open your mouth and say, Father, anybody in whose power it is to help my life, to help me financially, to help my children financially, ah, I refuse the enemy from keeping you waiting till I am dead in this condition, till I, I have suffered and lose my life in this condition. Never, Father, Arise for me. Arise for me. Locate every one of them. Anybody in that in the position of that money. Anybody in the position of that contract I need. Anybody that needs to help me in one way or the other. Lord Jehovah, trouble them now. I refuse my contact from being dormant again. Some of you, you have great contact that is supposed to change your life. But those con contacts are not bringing profit to you. Say, Father, I refuse to receive this reward I, in my debt. I refuse the devil from closing up the house of my helper from helping me now. The house of my helper from helping me now. The house of my helper from helping my husband now. Anybody in whose position it is to help our lives, lose your peace. Lose your peace and remember us. Lose your peace and remember us. In the month of May, we must receive our congratulations. We must receive our congratulations. We must receive that contract. Anybody in whose position it is to recommend them for that contract, to recommend them for that business deal, to actually help us in one way or the other. Lose your peace. Lose your peace. I hope somebody is praying. Command your helpers to lose their peace. Say, Father, I 
refuse to receive this help in the grave. I refuse this help from coming when I am far gone. I refuse this help from coming when I am far gone. Every help I need now for me to fulfill purpose in whose position it is. I command that person to release it with no more delays. 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 I must be congratulated in the months of May. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays in my help. Let my help come starting from now. Let my helpers lose their peace. Let my helpers lose their peace. My financial helpers lose your peace. My ministerial helpers lose your peace. My career helpers lose your peace. My business helpers lose your peace. That person that will tell me come and carry goods of what millions and be paying small, small. Lose your peace. Lose your peace. Lose your peace. And release my help to me. Release my help to me. Release my help to me. Release my husband help to him. Release my children help to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Beloved, I pray for you. I do not know who God wants to help with this prayer. But because you are praying this prayer with the whole of your heart. Anybody that needs to give you money. Now that you are alive. And the enemy has closed up their heart. To wait till when you are dead. I say never. I command the reopening of the hearts of your helpers to you. I say, let the hearts of your helpers, your career helpers, your ministerial helpers, your business helpers, let the hearts be reopened back for you. Anybody that needs to remember you to do you good, who has forgotten you, hey, may heaven trouble them. The same way Ahasuerus was troubled over the book where the matter of, uh, of Mordecai was written. May the Lord trouble them. May they lose their peace. Ah, may they never recover back from that stress until they have an encounter of remembering you. Until they remember you and help you. I refuse and I reject this for you. You will not be helped when you are dead. Ah, the help you are looking for, you are praying for, will not come when you are dead. No, let God release it to you in this month of May. And may it be forever for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, that's your divine help. That's your miracle conception. May it come now that you are alive. You must not your own baby. God did not give you a womb and gave you a child to be fruitful and he will not give you a child. No. I command a divine release of that help that you need for your joy to be made whole. May God Almighty release it unto you now so that when you enter the month of May, you begin to dwell in pleasure. You begin to dwell in joy. You begin to receive your congratulations. You begin to do things with ease. No more struggles. Your help has come, says the Lord. No more struggles. Your help has come, says the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, before I go off your way, I want you to pick up a prophetic seed and say, Lord, this is my offering. This is my offering. This is my offering. This is my offering. Intense giving for the month of April. And this my seed. I am using it to activate my congratulations for the month of May. Pick up a seed. A thousand, two thousand, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars. Pick it up and raise it up right now. I don't know what to want God to release congratulations over. But please raise it up right now and begin to speak and say, Lord, I am using this to say thank you for the month of April. I am using this, Lord, to say thank you for the month of April. Lord, 
My people say that when we thank a strong man for the one he has done, he will do more. Lord, I am thanking you for the month of April. And I'm asking, Lord, that in the month of May, as your word has gone forth, may my congratulation never be denied. I use this my seed to activate my congratulations. I use this my seed to activate my congratulations. I use this my seed to activate my congratulations. Aliga Baduzo no prakataya. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Raise up your seed and pray that prayer. Lord, I use this seed to activate my congratulations. Agabuzo na kataya. Rega de 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 de. Makatuzo prakato shataya. Lord, receive it, Lord, and be thou glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, please bring out that your anointing oil. Bring out your anointing oil. There is an account details on the description section of the video. Uh, um, um, use it and send that your thanksgiving and congratulations seed. While I bless your oil for you. What is this oil going to do for you, beloved? This oil is going to break every yoke that is going to stand on your way of congratulations. And this is how you are going to use this oil. I don't know whom you are. The Lord, the Lord is healing somebody's stomach. The Lord is healing somebody's stomach. I don't know what you are going through in your stomach. I don't know what is happening to your stomach. I'm, I'm feeling the healing power of God in somebody's stomach right now. The Lord is rearranging your organs. I don't know whom that person is. The Lord is rearranging your organs. The Lord is rearranging your organs. The Lord is rearranging your organs. Receive that healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This oil is going to serve as a yoke breaking oil. Lift up that your oil. is going to stand as a yoke breaking oil. Agabado shatanagada. Please, one thing I want you to do for me is this. After I pray on this oil, every day of this month, please anoint yourself with the oil. And say, as I go out today, I receive my own load of congratulations for today. Anoint your children. Anoint your household. And for you not to forget about the anointing yourself. I always tell people, Put some quantity in your cream and mix it in your cream. So that any day you finish preparing and you're rushing out, you forget to anoint yourself with your oil and pray in the prayer. When you remember on the road, please begin to pray and say, Lord, I remember I rubbed the oil in my body. As I go everywhere today, I receive my congratulations. I receive favor. I receive a turnaround. I receive, I refuse to receive no for an answer. Any man that comes in contact with me, they do things for me that will bring congratulations for me. This is what this oil will do for you as I pray on it right now. So, beloved, lift up that oil wherever you are. Kabadabada. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I present before you, my Father, this anointing oils. I declare it's a holy and a blessed anointing oil. Lord, as your children shall be using this oil to anoint themselves every day in the month of May, as those of them that are expecting miracle babies will be anointing their wombs, with this oil, anointing the marvels, anointing the stomachs with this oil. Lord Jehovah, let every yoke of the wicked stopping their congratulations, stopping their conceptions, lose his grief of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let this oil generate their congratulatory testimony. Those of them that will be going for job interview and they anoint themselves with this oil. Let as they go for that interview, let favor go with them. 
Let the congratulations show up. Let them be selected and be employed. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Maker, whatsoever be the needs of your children, as they anoint themselves with this oil and pray on it, and pray and make those requests, Lord, grant their petitions, grant their petitions, Grant their petitions, uh, 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 grant their petitions uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, Spirit of the Living God, envelop this oil right now and turn it to a miracle oil that whomever that uses it. We receive miracles on a daily basis. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is settled. Please anoint yourself and say, Lord, as I anoint myself, I step into my month of congratulations with power, with power, with power to generate result. Open your mouth and say, Father, as I step into the month of May, by the reason of the anointing, no demonic yoke of the wicked will stop me from receiving my congratulations. Lord, as I step into the month of May, ah, in the power of this anointing, in the power of this anointing, I am receiving my congratulations. 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 Nothing will stop me. No power of darkness will stop me. Anyone that will rise up with an evil sacrifice to stop my congratulations. Anybody that will rise up to slaughter any animal in order to put my name on it or to put my conception on it and to stop my conception and to stop my congratulations. Lord, let the evil decrease upon those animals backfire on the head. Let the evil expectations backfire on the head. Let my congratulations show up and let every gate of hell that has opened up to step into the month of May with me be shut up right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That prayer I pray for myself, I pray for you, I pray for your family. No gate of hell will open his mouth to stop your congratulations in this month of May in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, I release you into your months of congratulations. Go into the month of May with this power, in this thy might, and bring forth your testimonies with no limitations, with no barriers, with nothing stopping you anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May I be the first person to tell you congratulations. Can you please type it and say congratulations to yourself. Ah, I say congratulations to me. I say congratulations to my children. I say congratulations to my husband. I say congratulations to every member of this ministry. It is settled. It is settled. It is settled. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be expectant. And that settles it. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, before I go off your way, I want to still remind every one of you that come Monday, the second day of the month of May, till the 22nd of the month of May, I will be live here every 8 p.m. Nigerian time with all awaiting mothers. <laughs> if you are a pregnant woman and you are going through complications, join that prayer. If you're a newly wedded couple and you don't have your child already, join that prayer. If you're, you're actually a, an awaiting mother and doctors has given you all manner of impossible cases, impossible results, they have concluded on your matter, join that prayer. Believe in me, beloved. God said, for 21 days in the month of May, starting from Monday being 2nd 
to the 22nd, the heavens of miracle baby will be opened and there will be rain of babies. Rain of babies on a daily basis. So if you have not joined our WhatsApp group, please, as soon as I go offline right now, Check the last post I made, the last two posts I made on our Facebook page. And I'll also be adding the link. Please join the WhatsApp group right away. Yesterday we had a serious teaching on how to calculate your ovulation. So that you don't miss the angel coming with your miracle baby. As God has said it, he is determined to perform it. But when God is sending rain and you don't put your bucket, you don't put something that you need to use to collect your water properly, the rain may finish and the water will just waste. I don't want your sexual intercourse with your husband to waste in the month of May. God will be sending rain of babies. But you need to reposition your thing very well. I taught yesterday on the right sex positions to use for conception. I taught on how to calculate ovulation. I cannot teach that on Facebook. They will block me. Please join WhatsApp so that you can enjoy. I will still be reposting that till Monday, till the program is over. Join that part. So you learn what to do. You learn how to position your channel. Of collecting your baby very well. You know the need, the fruits, the kind of fruits you need to eat this season to help your ovaries as a woman generate more eggs. So that as soon as your husband um mobile armies are coming, they will be able to attack the ovary and get you your miracles. Don't allow this rain to finish without you collecting your triplet. Without you collecting your twins, without you collecting that your birthday testimony baby. My last boy was given to me on my birthday. In fact, my birthday was January 20th, it's actually 29th of January every year. I conceived that baby. In fact, God did it that my ovulation came on that 28th slash 29th. So that night I, I did it. With my husband and I carried my baby boy. I pray and say, God, I want my birthday testimony. And I want it to be another baby boy. I have two boys. And God gave it to me. Please put your channel, put your water carrying materials in the right place. Get ready. This month of May, I want to see your double line. Double line, double line. And I want people to tell you congratulations on this platform. And for those of you that have actually sown a seed to activate the month of congratulations, please send me a message right now on WhatsApp. There is a WhatsApp number on the description section. Send me a message right now on WhatsApp. I need to pray for you specifically so that nothing will be able to stop your congratulations. Are you hearing me? I need to pray for you and activate that your seed. And for those of you that will be coming, those of you that are late comers, you know, that will be listening to this on YouTube, on Facebook, make sure you join your faith with this. Activate your motor congratulations with a seed and that settles it. No evil sacrifice of anybody in the motor of men will be able to stop your congratulations as you sow in activation of the motor congratulations in the name of Jesus Christ. It is settled. I pray for you. May the Lord be gracious unto you in the month of May. May the Lord show himself mighty in every matter that concerns you and your family in this month of May. May he actually prove himself as a testimony giver, as a miracle worker, as the God to whom vengeance belongs to. May he judge all your enemies and may he put all your mockers to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. I am still your sister, Apostle Amaka. The Lord bless you. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. See you Monday morning, 5 a.m. Monday morning, 5 a.m. We are going to be commanding the first week 
of the month of May. We're going to be speaking into the womb of the week and we are going to act, we are going to actually kick off the prayer and fasting for awaiting mothers. Don't miss that Monday morning if you're an awaiting mother. Don't miss it. Be live online. My prayer for every, thank God it's a very long holiday. Almost one week holiday. Hmm. Oga will be in the house. Make sure you are doing. Make sure you are doing. Collect as many spam as you can. Your baby must enter this week. Your baby must enter the... <laughs> you might be laughing. I know some of you are laughing right now. I say your baby must enter this week. God will do it. It will, it will shift back your ovulation. It will come this week. Say amen and receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I await your testimonies. The Lord bless you. Bye-bye-bye. Do enjoy your weekend with your husband, with your children. Enjoy yourself. Even if you don't have your children now, enjoy yourself. Have fun. They are coming. I told you yesterday night that children enjoy happy people. Happy people. You can't see a child going to anybody that is angry. So if you must see these children, learn to be happy. Think yourself happy. Learn to be happy. Children will come. Are you hearing me? And this month of men, you will be congratulated in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you. Bye-bye.